Today we got some exciting news for all the Galaxy device users in Canada. After the Stable 1 UI 7 update was rolled out for the Galaxy S24 series, Samsung has now shared the official update schedule for Canadian users. The update will be sent out in stages, with the full rollout expected to finish by June 2025. So how will the update be rolled out? Samsung plans to release One UI 7 in different phases, starting with the Galaxy S and Galaxy A series phones in May 2025, followed by some Galaxy Tab models. Then in June 2025, Galaxy Z Flip phones and more Galaxy Tab devices will begin receiving the update. By the end of June, all eligible Galaxy Z foldables will also get the update. Here's a breakdown of which devices in Canada will get the update over the next few months. Galaxy A Series, Galaxy A16, Galaxy A35, Galaxy A54 5G, Galaxy Z Series, Galaxy Z Flip 3, Galaxy Z Flip 4, Galaxy Z Flip 5, Galaxy Z Flip 6 5G, Galaxy Z Fold 3, Galaxy Z Fold 4, Galaxy Z Fold 5, Galaxy Z Fold 6 5G, Galaxy S Series, Galaxy S21 FE, Galaxy S21 Series, Galaxy S23 FE, Galaxy S22 Series, Galaxy S23 Series, Galaxy S24 Series, Galaxy Tab Updates, Galaxy X Cover 6 Pro, Galaxy Tab Active 4 Pro 5G, Galaxy Tab A9 Plus 5G, Galaxy Tab Active 5G, Galaxy Tab S8 Series, Galaxy Tab S9 Series, Galaxy Tab S10 Series. So is your Galaxy device on the list for the update? What are your thoughts on this phase rollout? Let me know in the comments below. So what's new in this update? First off, we're getting a pretty cool addition. Media playback controls are now accessible directly from the now bar and the notification shade. This is a feature that was available on older Galaxy devices after they were updated to One UI 7, but it wasn't available on devices like the Galaxy S25 series when it launched with One UI 7 out of the box. Here's how it works. When media is playing in an app, you'll see a live notification in the now bar at the top left of the screen. Just tap it, and it'll bring up a small pop-up with the media controls, making it super easy to pause, play, or skip tracks. And that's not all. Media playback can now also be controlled from the notification shade. Previously, the Galaxy S25 only showed the media widget in the quick settings panel, so this update really expands your control options. You'll also notice an improved charging animation, which is a nice touch. Plus, there are some general stability improvements, and the update includes the April 2025 security patch as well. You can identify this update by the build number ending in AWD9. To grab it, just head over to your settings app, go to software update, and hit download and install. And by the way, if you haven't already checked out One UI 8 running on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, make sure to catch my video on it. I'll go over everything the first major OS upgrade will bring, or won't bring, to the Galaxy S25 lineup. Let me know in the comments if you've received this update yet, and how it's working for you.